What's up YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a Twitter interview question. This question is called highest salary in department, mark this medium on stratuschest.com, which is a platform that allows us to implement our own solution and run it against test cases and see if it would be accepted during an interview. Now, the task we have at hand is to find the employee with the highest salary per department. We should output the department name, employee's first name, along with the corresponding salary basically the highest salary in, in each department, as the question says. Now, we have a table called employee, which has a lot of information about each employee, as in the first name, last name, age, sex, title, department, salary, and so on. We really need just a few of these fields, but yeah, we, we have a lot in there. So, let's start by thinking about this problem. It tells us to find the employee with the higher salary per department. So if you think about it and if you have watched these videos for a while or if you have practiced for a while, there should be a bell ringing inside your head that basically tells you this is a highest X per Y question. So if you are ever going to try to find patterns within these ask all questions, this is the most pattern-like pattern you could find. Um, yeah, it just tells you to get the highest value or highest entry for a certain group or partition in this case. So we want the highest salary per department. It could be the highest salary per company. It could be the biggest height of each Olympic athlete per country. It's basically the highest X per Y. It could be the lowest X per Y. A variation could be the second highest salary per department, but that is pretty much that question type. And that question type, in this case, allows you to either use a max approach to find the maximum salary per department and then find the employee that has that maximum salary, might be multiple. But I think the better approach is to use window functions here and use the rank window function, which allows you to assign a rank for a column value and to be able to partition that by another column, in this case department. So basically what we're trying to do is assign a rank to each salary per department to say this is the highest salary in this department, this is the second highest, third highest salary in that department and so on and then in the end filter that subtable created from that subquery to only include those that have rank number one and that should be the highest salary in each department. And why this is the preferred approach is because you're going to be able to adjust it easily to the second highest salary by just filtering to the second highest rank and so on um, or third highest or top five or whatever. And yeah, as I said for this you're gonna have to use window functions here. I would say rank is probably the simplest window function to use. So if you wanna start with learning one, it should be this, but it might be hard to follow if you haven't heard of window functions yet. Anyways, we're gonna do, we're gonna follow this window function approach since I think it's the, the preferred option and more versatile and dynamic option that you're able to, to, to change up for follow-up questions. So. Let's just start out by selecting what we expected to have in our output. That would be department name, employee name, and their salary. It's all in one table. Pretty nice. So we're just going to select department, employee name, and salary from that table, employee, and just run it for jokes so that we see that we don't have any typos. Um, we do have typos. Employee name doesn't exist, it's just first name. And yeah, that's gonna be it. If you have first name in there, you're expected to upload first name, you should be aware of issues with people having the same first name and there could be confusions. But in this case, since we're not grouping on first name, we shouldn't run into any issues, but just keep that in mind for other questions. So we have department, first name and salary. We see that entry Richard in here, who's pretty rich, 
and has the highest salary in management and overall as well. So we just need to find a way to filter to these and we're going to do that by introducing that rank window function that I talked about. So I'm going to use rank to assign a rank to these salaries and we're going to do this by using the window function syntax which is going to be the window function in this case rank in brackets there could be an argument in there in this case there's none and we have that over keyword where we create that window or the window basically yeah the partitions and window that the window function is is based on so in here we're gonna have partition by order by small typo here and yeah this is gonna allow us to partition our window by a certain field in this case we're gonna do department because we want to create a ranking inside each department based on the highest salary we don't care what happens outside of that department since we should find the highest salary in each department for example Chandler has a mediocre salary of 1,100, but it's still the highest salary in audit. It wouldn't be close to being the highest in management or sales, for example. So we're going to partition by department, order by salary. That's really where our main column comes in that we're basing this off of. In this case, we want to find the highest salary. So since the highest salary should be on top, we want to order by salary in descending order. Descending means highest value is going to be on top and this way we establish that ordering and partition of we want to find the highest salary and we want to do this for each department. So if I run that code, that window function magic is going to work and assign these ranks as well as create that ordering and partitioning. So you see that our table is now ordered by department. We have audit management and sales all divided nicely here and we have that rank 1, 2, 2, 4 with the highest salary on top we do have the same rank twice if there's a tie and we skip one rank in this case since we had a tie here before but it does work we have only one salary with the top rank and yeah that's pretty much most of the work and that's exactly how other things other similar questions are going to work. So we're going to put this into brackets or parentheses to make it a subquery and call that rankings. Could be whatever, but yeah, it's basically rankings, salary rankings that we made. And yeah, now let's get to our output. So we want to select these same columns, department, employee name, and salary. And we're selecting that from that subquery or yeah, that temporary table rankings that we're creating with this subquery. And since this includes all salaries still, we still need to introduce a work loss to filter it to only keeping ranks that are yeah, the, the highest rank, rank one. So I forgot to give this one a name. It's called R, otherwise it's gonna be called rank and then cat that can be confusing because SQL might think you're referring to the function and not to the column name. So yeah, usually calling this R for rank and filter that to rank being one. So let's see if that works. And yeah, it does. It does give us each department, the employee's first name and salary for the highest salary in each department. It's not ordered in the same way, but the question doesn't really ask us to have any ordering in there in our output. So if we submit that, it should be accepted. And it is. Now that's gonna be it for this Twitter problem. If you wanna see similar ones, head on over to stratusjudge.com and you're gonna be able to filter for company tag questions and practice some more. There are a bunch of free questions and you can also sign up for a premium membership to get access to all of them. We also have a new recommended section in there where you can move on over to similar questions, similar Twitter or similar medium difficulty questions and just keep practicing. Now I don't want this to come off the wrong way. There are a lot of great free resources out there, but 
considering how much return on investment you get in this space in the golden age of tech interviews pretty much you're probably going to be able to get a five digit salary increase a couple ten thousand dollars maybe if you just invest a hundred bucks into some courses or platform it doesn't have to be start stretch or anything but for me and myself i realized that the moment i started investing in these resources is the moment i became serious with these tech interviews and in my preparation and I started acing interviews and getting to these offers. So I can really recommend you guys to invest in yourself and there's really no better place to get return on investment as in this interviewing space. If there is another one, please tell me because I would be I would be open to invest in that as well. But that's just some some peace of mind and things I realized and it really helped me, as I said, there are a lot of resources out there, so choose wisely, but you can't really go wrong in most cases in this space in terms of return on investment. That's going to be it for me today. These videos will, of course, always be free, and I'll see you in another one.